What is the greatest weapon of the Sultan? I will tell you. <clears throat> I will reveal to you the greatest weapon of the Sultan. And if you know it, you can fight it. If you don't know it, then you're caught in the trap. What is the greatest strategy that he has? And I will tell you. Man is a very intelligent being. Very intelligent. And he basically knows what the score is, as they say in English. You know, really what he wants, to, who he is, what he wants to do, and, and so on. But the problem is this. Man thinks. How many times do you ask yourself, what am I doing with my life? Where am I going? What have I accomplished, really? I'm getting older. Time is running. What have I really done? Uh, that thought to evaluate your time to evaluate your deeds, right, is a very threatening idea to the sudden. Very. Because many times if you begin thinking of <coughs> what your life really is, what have you really accomplished? What do you really want to do? What do you want to, you know, where, where do you want to go at the end of your life and so on? What have I done with my life, right? Uh, you'll change. Because you're intelligent. You realize life has to have meaning. This isn't just a trip through here to enjoy some steaks or whatever. That there's meaning to this, especially when you consider what Judaism is all about. That the life itself has unbelievable meaning and it has purpose, you see. So that thought is very dangerous to the Sutton because he's the Eight Sahara. He doesn't want you thinking these ideas. So what does he do? And this is how he gets everybody. He distracts you. He has you buy a cell phone, right? And guess what? What are you doing with your cell phone? You're always on it. Do you have any idea how much distractions that is? I mean, I can go on and on with this idea. The cell phone is the worst device ever made by man. Why? Because it completely involves you. You're immersed. I mean, you see, the, the joke is you see a picture where three people are sitting on a bench and each one, they're not talking to each other. They're all looking at their cell phones. In fact, if you ever see a crowd of people, almost everybody's on their cell phone. But they're not on their cell phone for three minutes. They're on it the whole day. <clears throat> people can't live with their cell phones. They take their cell phones right to bed. In fact, there's even a, 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 a disease called, you know, a mania of cell phones. You can't leave it go. It's a terrible addiction. Why? Because the sudden wants to distract you. Don't think. Don't think about who you are, where you're going with your life, or what have you accomplished. God forbid you to think about that. It's funny that the Sutton should say God forbid. But in any case, <clears throat> you know, uh, uh, this is what people do. So all of this, you know, I, I, was, I was once in a restaurant, so I had to use the uh, facilities, the restroom, whatever you want to call it, right, and so on, you know. So I go in, whatever, and so on. So all of a sudden I hear somebody talking in one of the stalls, right? So there's this guy in a stall doing what he normally does, right? And he's talking on a cell phone. So I said to myself, this is incredible. The guy can't even take a minute out, right, to do what he has to do. It's unbelievable. He's got to have a cell phone even then, right? And, and in a car, it used to be in a car when you were driving, you could think about what your life is all about, what the meaning is, where you're going and so on, and evaluate it, right? Today, it's all about cell phones. You know, it's about radios, cell phones, right? Internet, that's destroying us. You do not realize the distractions it, uh, it does to people. It stops them from evaluating their life. As far as I'm concerned, that's the greatest device ever known that will destroy a person, and it's the greatest friend and ally of the Sutton. So what I suggest is be careful. Don't let that cell phone or any other kind of device take you over where you no longer think about, you know, what you should be doing, you know, and so on. Maybe I should be learning more, have another Seder. <coughs> and this is what kills... <coughs> <coughs> everybody so I'm telling you you know I'm telling you what the greatest strategy of the Sultan is he doesn't want you to think because he knows if you think you're going to come to the conclusion that a lot of my life is wasted 
So how can I change it? That's the last thing he wants. So he needs to distract you with all kinds of shtusim. And one of the greatest devices that will distract you is the cell phone. And today, everybody buys a cell phone. They buy cell phones that cost $1,000. They want the best that can have the internet. I mean, could you imagine? Until now, you only had the cell phone and you had your people that you talked to. Now, you're tapped into the entire world. All the education, the chat rooms, I mean, it's unbelievable. You have the world in your hand, literally. You're no longer alone. So what a, des what a device that will distract you. It's absolutely incredible. Please be aware 